Is that not the whole goal here? Yeah, of course it is. But let me tell you, I think you have the steps mixed up. Here is what, Salem's in here, so if you hear bells, that's why. Maybe she'll blend in with the Christmas music. Um, yeah, so I think you guys have the steps mixed up. And I think it's actually putting more pressure on you than what is needed. Manifestation is not complicated. It's actually much easier than you think. And I'm thinking today you might realize why. It doesn't go Affirm, 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 until I believe it. You're not gonna believe it. You're not gonna believe it until you see it. Um, so you're thinking, I need to affirm until I create the assumption, and then once the assumption is created, then it's gonna manifest. No, absolutely not. Uh, contrary to what a lot of people say, <laughs> In my experience, every single fucking time that I've ever manifested anything, I did not believe it until it showed up. And I didn't really believe it. It didn't become an assumption until it was a consistent thing in my reality. So what I'm telling you is, just affirm. Be persistent. Affirm as if what you want is already true. Whatever your desire is, Every time you think of your desire, immediately before your mind even gets the chance to wonder, go ahead and start affirming. Have, and I know in the past I would tell you, flip the thought, because that's what I learned originally. Flip the thought, flip the thought, flip the thought. But here's what I found to be better and more effective um, in my own clients. Instead of constantly scrambling to flip the thought to the opposite, what I want you to do is have your set affirmations. You have your, your set little couple of affirmations for that thing. Um, say you have three or four affirmations for that thing, for that one subject. What I want you to do is every single time you think of your desire, I want you to use your set affirmations. E anytime you even start to think in the 3D, in, in logical ways. I want you to do your set affirmation. I want you to loop them all, all three or four, two to four, whatever, however many you have for this thing. As long as they all imply the same thing, say it in 20 different fucking ways. I really don't care. It doesn't matter as long as it implies the same thing. That is something that I have figured out recently. That is, see, I'm still learning. I'm still discovering stuff. I'm still tweaking things and seeing what, I'm kind of still busting myths because, you know, a lot of people say, oh, these words aren't picked up by the subconscious. But see, no words are really, technically, picked up by the subconscious. What is picked up is the image that those words create to you. So when someone says something to you, it implies something to you and it creates an image. Whether you know it or not, I don't wanna hear, I don't get an image. I don't care, yes you do. It creates an image and whatever this thing implies to you, whatever image these words create is what is picked up by the subconscious. So that is why we figured out recently that using the word never didn't hurt anything. It still manifested properly. Like saying, I never get sick. You still never get sick. If you say I never get sick, as long as that sentence implies to you that you, not, that you never get sick. See, I used to hurt myself trying to figure out ways to word something where I didn't use the words never, don't, um, you know, all those words that are supposed to be not acknowledged by the subconscious. Yeah, well, words aren't acknowledged by the subconscious anyway. It's the picture that they create. It is whatever it implies to you. What is important is what things imply to you. So, as long as what you're saying all implies the same thing, you can repeat 10 different affirmations as long as they imply the same thing. 
you do not have to robotically repeat the exact same wording, the exact same sentences over and over and over. I don't. I say it different every time just about. So, simply, every single time you think of your desire, repeat your set affirmations in your mind over and over and over again. This is all you have to do. It is going to get this thing manifested. You're going to experience it. You might keep affirming to, you know, just to make sure, but then you're going to get to a point where it's like a normal thing. You don't even think about it or consider it. You don't even think about affirming for it anymore because it's not needed. It's here. It's been here. It's matter of fact, that is when it is an assumption. It is not going to become an assumption until after it is manifested. So stop panicking, stop scrambling to figure out, did it impress? Did it impress on the subconscious? Did I create that assumption? Do I believe this? Probably not. You probably don't believe it yet, but you will when it manifests. It's going to manifest. Persist, think as if you already have it. Think as if this person is already that version. Think as if it is already done consistently. Every time you think of this thing, make sure you're using your affirmation so that your thoughts are that this thing is happening, this thing is already true, this is already here, and you are going to manifest it. And then it will become an assumption. And then you will believe it. And then it will be matter of fact. So stop stressing, trying to make sure that it's impressed, that it is an assumption. It's not going to be. You're not going to believe it until it manifests. And that's just what it is. So it's going to manifest before you actually fully believe it. You will believe it once it's here, once you have experienced it. Experience is what creates assumptions. That is where you got all your old assumptions from. You experience these things, whether it was to you or to other people. You experience things as you were growing up, as you were living life, you experience things, scenarios, situations, and they became assumptions in your life. That's how you continuously create situations. You've experienced them and you keep recreating them because you believe that's how it is. And to change it, you simply affirm, 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 affirm. Only think as if this thing is already true, it's already the way you want it to be, this person is already who you want them to be, uh, the perfect person has showed up into your life, this job, you got this job, you passed your exams, you passed your school, your school is so easy, your business is booming, it is thriving, you have so much money, you're so successful, you're so famous, whatever it is, whatever it is, just affirm, use your affirmations every time you think of it, Use your affirmations as you're falling asleep. It's going to manifest and then it will become an assumption. I believe that this eased your mind about this. 